So by the end of this video, you guys are gonna learn the top three easy steps that you guys can use to improve your credit. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value out of this video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel and new to the team, we talk about everything money, stocks, money management, trading, investing. So subscribe, join the team. So let's jump into it, let's go. So the reason why having good credit is super important is because it will literally save you thousands of dollars in the span of your life. You'll get better loan deals, you'll get lower interest, and over the years as you take out loans, those interests are gonna be a lot lower than somebody with a higher credit. So these three easy steps are steps that I use to get houses, to get cars, and honestly, I have well over an 800 credit score, so these are the top three things that I always follow every single day. So the first thing that I always do every single month, no matter what, is I set up auto pay. I pay my bill on time every single month. This is one of the most important factors that makes up your credit score is your payments. How likely are you to make your payment? If you're somebody that pays it every now and then, you're gonna have a lot lower credit score and a missed payment on your credit stays on your credit score for seven years. So my recommendation, if you guys have a credit card, if you have a mortgage, if you have a car payment, make sure you set up auto pay online so you don't have to worry about it and they automate everything for you and they withdraw the money. And yes, paying off your credit card every single month is kind of a go-to, but a lot of people don't really do it. But so my recommendation, even if you want to improve your credit a little bit, just make sure you set up auto pay and get on that schedule, set it up and you guys will not regret it. But if you can pay it off in full, that's gonna be a lot better because it's gonna reduce your credit usage. So speaking of credit usage, another tip, tip number two is keeping your usage under 30%. So if you have a credit card and the max that you can spend on it is $1,000, I would highly, highly recommend keeping it under $300 if you are going to put money on your card. Another really important factor when it comes to your credit score is your total usage. Keeping it under 30% is a great way to still improve your credit and to still use your credit if that makes sense because I think we all know we all have rough times and stuff like that. So if you're gonna put money on your credit card, my recommendation is to either pay it off in full or try to keep it under 30%. You'll see huge improvements with your credit when you follow those two rules. All right, so moving on to tip and lesson number three is to limit the amount of cards or credit that you apply for. Now this goes without saying, if you're gonna apply, keep it near and around one every three months. Meaning if you want a credit card, apply for it once and then apply for another one within 90 days or even six months. The reason why is because if you go every day, once a week or several times a month, applying for cards, trying to rack up you know, different credit cards, what it looks like from the credit cards perspective is this person is going crazy, looking for credit. Are they gonna be more likely to pay off $30,000 of credit if you get a proof for that much. So my recommendation, another tip that makes up a super important factor with your total credit score is to just limit the amount of things you apply for. Like I said, just be mindful of it. It's okay every now and then, but honestly, my recommendation would be to go apply every 90 days for something you want or maybe something you need. And obviously emergencies do come up. So if you need something on a loan, that's completely okay. But I'm saying for the things that you can control, like credit cards and stuff like that, even cards you can kind of control. So like I said, having good credit is gonna be way better than somebody that has terrible credit. You're gonna get a lot better deals on things. You're gonna have better credit cards that offer different promotions and bonuses and points and rewards. Personally, I use my credit card every single day. The biggest thing is just make sure you guys pay it off in full every single month and maximize those benefits. You don't want to get stuck with that 19 to 28% interest. It will kill you in the long run. So guys, shorter video today. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.